I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> right hilarious. before, right before we went live, Libby goes, ah, "The lights too." No, I go, right before we started, I go, I look stupid! And then I had to press, like, start, because it's Why stupid. do you think you look stupid? I love I your, know. you Something's do look not great. Right. Something's not right. I know, I like Turn that way. Though. Yeah, that's cute. That's Thanks, cute. And Mom. you did my hair today. Because I, I had to go in the studio earlier. Turn the song off. I kind of liked it as background music, but okay. I guess it's distracting. I had to go in the studio earlier. I don't know if I can say what I was doing, but I was... No, don't. Yeah, maybe she doesn't want me to say it. But I, I sang harmony on a female artist album today, a new album that she's making. And so um, that was fun. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's been it's been a weird week. I'm not going to touch my hair. Don't do it. There's no... no. Now don't touch it. There's... The, no, okay. no. Um, what? That's an inappropriate comment. <laughs> that should not be on there. Oh. Uh, Gross. gross. Don't be gross. Please. This is a family friendly this show. This is a family show. It's a mother daughter time. show. Like, we oh will give God. you a warning if it's going to be PG 13 or not. And tonight is pretty, I think, a clean episode. I think so. On your lip. Got what it. What was that? Uh, probably a bug. Guess Ew. what happened to Oh, and I Audrey. think I got bit. Remember? Oh, yeah. You got a big bug bite. Okay, we okay. really confess with bugs because it's Sarah. I mean, <laughs> it's summer. I, I read Sarah. Like, right. <laughs> 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 well, it's funny. Okay, let's just tell them. We, we have some friends here now. We're, we're not going to say who. But there are people here in the house like just waiting for us to get done with Closet Chaos so we can socialize with them. And so that is also um, a thing. Oh, my God. I can't raise my shirt. <gasps> I literally ah! showed inside this entire no, shirt. No, it's okay. You're fine. No one okay. thought about it. Um, before we get started, we wanted to say a very happy special birthday today. Yes, today is Daddy Jay's birthday. Happy birthday, happy Jay. Happy birthday. We love you so um, much. Should we do a quick little yes, birthday tune? of course. You do harmony? Yeah, of course. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy J. Happy birthday to you. Boom. I mean, that was a terrible high five. You know how you. How yeah, you I was just about to say. Does everyone know that trick? Okay, tell them. How, How do you, you do a successful it? high five? You look at the other person's elbow. Yeah, so ready? It's so weird. High five. Wait. Oh my god. I wasn't ready. You just go like that. Like okay. high five. Slowly. What? Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. We touched all fingers. That was amazing. So we have been doing a little um, garage clean. We cleaned our garage out this week. On we chose the hottest day, which by the way, it is the hottest week in Ever. Tennessee in Nashville. I think Maybe in the history, in the history of, of the world. The world. We were it, talking about that today. How like sometimes I'll like panic. I'll be like, has it ever been this hot before? And then I think like, of course yes. it has. Like they're moving. You know, I just yeah. It's always this way in the south, and it's always been this way my whole life. It's just like every year, it's a big pain. It's a really big. Do you guys pain. know what it's like to have to sit next to a beautiful seventeen-year-old? Do you know what it's like to have to sit next to your beautiful celebrity mother? Listen, if I were just doing this thing by myself, I would feel a lot better. I'm like this. You know, yeah, I got it going on. I'm like, see how things are working. And then you come into the to the screen and you're just 17. And it's not fair. See? Oh, she's only see what 17. Happens? Um, you have discovered a, a band that... No, I, not discuss the wrong word. I have just, like, over the past two days become obsessed with Rascal Flatts. Which because. is so funny because oh, I have known Rascal Flatts for so many years. Oh yeah, we toured together, but you were little when we I were on tour. I have selfies with them on yeah. my phone, like from like yeah when I was younger and stuff. And yeah. So like I've known them forever, but like I really have not listened to their music very much. And then um, Avery. No brother, offense, Rascal Flatts. 
No, it's just like I'm now entering that phase of like that era of country music where I'm like, I yeah. I'm just, I'm in love. The but, 2000s in country music. Were oh, the best. I am like discovering that might be my favorite genre of music. Ever. Me, like ever. Keith Urban. Joe not that I'm Crow. not still making music and touring and doing and those all people, that, but yeah. yeah, but the but country radio, mainstream country radio, doesn't play current music from me or mo or most women yeah. anymore. So. But yeah, Rascal Flatts, they are amazing. They're, I, they're amazing. And the song that I'm specifically obsessed with is Fast Cars and Freedom. And I I just had never really heard it before. You don't look a day over Fast Cars and Freedom. We don't know it. Baby but no more, baby Rascal Flatts sang a song called The Broken Road, God Bless The Broken Road, yep. that my dear friend Marcus Humman wrote. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know he wrote that. See, I'm learning Marcus, all these new things. Let me, Marcus sang that at our wedding, at mine and Daddy J's wedding. Marcus sang that God bless That's the broken him? road that led me straight to you. I was wondering you. why it didn't sound like the oh, lead singer. All straight to you. And we rolled a big... Um, what is it called? Baby Grand, a, a black Baby Grand pa piano in the green oh, yard. Man, go off. And it was absolutely amazing. And Marcus Hummond sang it. Marcus Hummond wrote that with someone that I should know. He was in the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Nitty he's, Gritty Dirt Band. He's married to Matresa Berg. What is his name? Everyone tell me his name. I just don't know. Let's sing another Rascal Flatts. Oh, of course. Life is a highway. I want to ride it all night long. That's the thing, like I've always that's just cover known tune. their hits. Oh. That's a cover tune. See, now I'm confused. <laughs> Life is a highway. I wanna ride it all night long. Who who sang that song? <laughs> okay, so who, who who was in the nitty gritty dirt band that wrote God Bless the Broken Road with Marcus Hummin? I need that answer. And I need who's saying Life is a Highway besides Michael Scott I from can the probably office. <laughs> We all know Michael did it the best though, let's not lie. Anyway, so we cleaned out the garage and we found a bunch of um, pictures, yep. and crates of pictures. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to show them this picture. So y'all are yes. going to freak out. So we found this picture of my dad. This is Papa Jack. Yep. And tell us who he looks just like. Can cool. they see it okay? Yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> this is good enough. There we go. Okay. There we go, everyone. Who does he look like? His name is is Jack Evans. It's my dad and <laughs> you look like him too. I know everyone Wait, does. Let's try to make that face. Hold on. I do kind of. Mm -hmm. I look so much like No, me. you look more like Granny Pat to me. Honestly. Avery, Avery, Avery. It's looks Avery. Like Avery. Avery. It's so weird. Like I can't even look at that picture without like freaking out. He looks out. just They're like Avery. They're identical. Like identical. It's, it's so crazy. weird. Crazy. But what's so weird is um, the Evans genes are so strong in our family. So almost, oh, Jeff Hanna. Thank yeah, you. I was about to say. Jeff that Hanna from the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band um, wrote God Bless Broken Road, Marcus Summit. Yes, he, my dad looks like Avery. Avery looks like my dad. I wish we could take a picture of Avery now. Most people, do you have a picture of Avery? In your I'll phone? look. In my family, look like my dad. It's so weird. Like that gene runs so strong. Uh, my shipped groceries are here, by the way, and that's why the dogs are barking. Um, and yes, Janet, Faro, Parrot, I do look like my mom, and thank you. But I look like my dad, too. Still trying to find a photo. You don't have any pictures of Avery? Not on my phone. Well, I mean, like, you could just show that, that one of him playing guitar. No, not that one. Yeah, one. that one. No, this one. I mean, that kind of, you can kind of see, but Avery has longer hair, so I'm trying to find yeah. one where... Avery's a hippie. Like that one. You need to shit. That looks like him. That does. There's Avery. It's crazy. Emma, it's so weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Avery and Emma. Um, obviously, if you've been keeping up with the whole Kardashians, all of this. So <laughs> I told you that. I don't know if I told you guys last week, but I started watching oh, Real yeah. Housewives of New Jersey. Wow. I have become obsessed with it. And it's so like a bad obsession. It's becoming a little concerning. But in a, really? I mean, it's fine. It's just on every time I'm near you. Well, that's because I went back and restarted. So I went back to season one, which was 10 years ago. 
And I am the same age as Teresa. You always say Teresa? No, her name is Teresa. It bothers me. It's Teresa. I have my drink, everyone. Famous cocktail. Uh -huh. No, mom always says Teresa, like T R E A S A or something. Teresa. What do you think it is? Teresa. Yeah, and hers, most Teresas have an, an H. See, again, you said Teresa. It's Teresa. Maybe that's a Missouri thing. Teresa. Teresa. You're saying it like it's a ch, ch But in New Jersey, they say Teresa. Teresa. I cannot do accents. You, mom, that's one thing that's, that mom was not blessed with, which is so shocking because you're Because I was literally singer. blessed with everything else. Yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding. Really sister. Um, but I have been wants to know if we miss living in Birmingham. Do we? Yes. We, I miss aspects of Birmingham. Same. I mean, I the reason I pause is because you were everything is it. shut down. So I'm trying to think what would we be doing right now if we were in Birmingham and we'd we would be doing the same thing we're doing here, except yeah. that I could not have just like gone in the studio today. That is a blessing. That's yes. the main thing I think that we like learned. That's amazing about it is Nashville, seeing so here with everyone. Yes. I, I am personally love Nashville, and I'm so glad we're here. But there are obviously things about Birmingham that we miss. Mm -hmm. The but, people mostly, yeah, obviously our friends. Yeah, and we miss them so much. And but it's beautiful. It's really yeah, Birmingham beautiful. is gorgeous. Um, anyway, so. I went back and started watching season one mm -hmm. because if you've never watched Real Housewives of, Bev of New Jersey, so there's a true story that's that's ongoing. So Teresa Judice, I think, her husband, um, and they have four daughters. Her husband got into some legal trouble like four or five years ago, and he caused her to have to go to prison because so. they're married. I, mean, I don't know, like, all the details. I want to know if he's, like, part of the mafia. Or I don't know if he's part of the mafia or Honestly. if he just, um, it was, like, tax evasion or something like that. So Insane. she had to go to prison for a year and leave her children. And so they arranged it to where she would do her prison time first while he stayed home with the girls. And then he, she got out and then he would go to prison. So he has just now gotten out of prison, but Can I all turn your right down? For some reason. Okay, go ahead. That happened last week, remember? There is a mafia. I'm sorry to tell you. It's like there's a mafia? He said there's no mafia. There is a mafia. Or what do you mean there there's no mafia? <laughs> it's like that's, a that's historical like fact. A fact. <laughs> that's like saying there are no trees. Okay, so... Sort of, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean it makes sense. There are trees. No one will dispute that. There is... I mean, the mafia is real. Haven't you At seen Casino? What? Have you seen... What's it called? The Godfather. The Godfather. Obviously. Exactly. Duh. Anyway, so these earrings are so cute. I mean, they're I went adorable. way back in the archives and got these. Yeah, out. we have earrings from like, some of them are shocking because they're from like the early 2000s that you bought and I can't even believe that they were purchased by if anyone. If they're bad, that KK bought them for me. Well, KK, That's there why. were some mistakes in that pile. Oh yeah, KK, we still haven't done my best <laughs> and worst looks. We have. Well, not all of them. No. Like, yeah, we have done some. Most of the worst ones were like the big, huge belts with over a t-shirt. That was bad. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we have to show them your new, some of your new photos. Libby did a oh. photo shoot this week, y'all. I did do a photo shoot. Okay. With. Anyway, really quick. Yeah, go ahead. Ben, what okay. were you even talking about? I can't the remember. Mafia. Oh, no. Okay, so Joe Judice went to prison, but the whole time he lived here, he, he's been in America for 30 years or something. He never became a U.S. citizen. Why did he not do that? Which, you can't, like, if you're you gonna, know, I always if you're going to be in the like, mafia or... Yeah. Or if you're going to commit you, a crime, right. you should be... A, you should a at least make sure you're an American citizen so you don't get deported. So he, right when he got out of three years in prison, he went straight to ICE. He was in the ICE holding facilities. And he kept appealing because he's going to be deported to Italy. So they were like, you can either stay in ICE, keep appealing... Your sentence, did you just sneeze? Almost. I feel like I'm crowding you, I'm sorry. Is that annoying? No, stay in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are watering now. Wait, really quick. And so he just decided, so on this season it's really sad because his daughters are like, no, we want him to keep fighting, but it's like so expensive with attorney's fees and yeah. all that. So he just couldn't take it anymore. He left ICE and he was deported back to Italy. He can never return to America. That is shocking. Like, I can't even believe it. And that's, so, that's insane. If, his, if he ever wants to see his daughters, they have to go to Italy every time. How Which, did you not want to be deported, though, after being 
held in ice. You yeah, I mean, I, mean like, I would rather be deported. He's than probably be in like jail. sitting there thinking about Italy. Like I could right. be living in Italy. I could right be in now. Italy. And Italy is amazing. Yes, so. but it's just yeah, the whole family situation is awful. But I've gotten sucked in, and I, you know, I don't know how. Real, I mean, I know that this part is real because it was in the news and everything. But I just look back on. Um, so I go back to season one and Teresa. Teresa, how do you say it? Teresa. Teresa. Look, no, is Teresa. 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 Yeah. Mom says Teresa. Like I, I think some people would agree with me. It's Teresa. You're saying it like C H. Yeah, I think R- it is. I no, think it's Teresa. It's not. It's Teresa. Okay. So, uh, she used to be just this sweet, like you oh know, um, housewife, mom. Like that's all she did. She was very innocent, and now she's a changed woman, and so it's fascinating to go back and watch season one. Yeah. Not to mention Danielle, who is, like, I mean, they, they, I don't know if she is psycho, but they portray her to be psycho on the show. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so I would definitely, it said your clothes rod is bowing. Or bowing. No, I know. We're waiting and, like, no, don't touch it, Libby. What if it falls on you? That's the joke. No, no, no. I would love it if it fell one episode. Like, I think we should put as many clothes as we can on it one time and see it, how long. Yeah, it's kind of what we're waiting on. Like, when, when the clothes rack falls, closet chaos is done. Everything falls. And then we're moving. Falls. <laughs> and we're moving closet chaos to a television show. Y'all, I'm yeah. trying to talk Olivia into doing a reality show with me. Ooh, she baby. is... No. Stubborn. No, You're so no, stubborn. No. I would love to do one, but I also just, you know, it's been a rocky road with that situation. Okay. We almost did a reality show, y'all, and we were it was going to be picked up by Lifetime. My friend's going to text me and be like, no. Stop like, talking. <laughs> um, who is that peeking through the hey, clothes? That's not, that's not funny. funny. That just scared me. You're gonna you're gonna break it. I don't care at this point. That's not funny. That is so scary. That I, was a good I sh- will believe. <laughs> I am so scared of that stuff. Please, I'm but, scared. Oh oh, we need to tell them what happened too about the bomb threat. We didn't think we had anything to talk about. We have so much to tell you. Okay, we're gonna hurry. Anyway, I want to do a reality show. Tell Olivia to do it with me. I think that happen. she and Audrey and I. I just said it might happen. That's like great. Oh, I thought you said it's not going to happen. I know. I knocked the shoes over, but you know. Just leave them. Okay. So I think it would be so good. The only thing about reality shows is they always want you to create drama. I don't want it to create anything. I, I think it, it would make me, me hate you. Really? I think that it would make me like. Wow, Libby, nothing can not make me hate, hate you. you. You know what I mean? Like, I think that it would make me just like underneath be annoyed because we have to like fight. You know? It's only six weeks of Because we don't fight. We never fight. Ever. Why don't and we so, just use Audrey as a scapegoat? We'll make Audrey be the one to cause all the problems. Yeah. No, and you and I great. will always just be on camera. Like, every time they show us, we're like... That's really mean. That'd be so funny. Are you tired? I keep yawning, honestly, and I don't know why. But it's not one of those, like, I'm actually tired. It's just like I'm yawning over and over again. So, did you yawn? No, I was just going to say, how's Mac? M- Mama! Okay, well... <laughs> About the thing that happened the other day. Let's talk. Okay. <clears throat> when was it? Friday? No, Thursday Friday. or Friday? Friday. No, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday night, we were in Saturday. the house, and all of a sudden, something came up about how a month ago, this um, ad in the Tennessean put out this crazy, um, terrifying thing from a radical Christian religious group or something. And it said Nashville is going to, like, there's going to be a nuclear weapon. It said on Saturday the 18th. On Saturday. Like, yeah, there's going to be. the end of blah, blah, blah. Like, just this whack, crazy stuff. And so, of course, me being me and someone else that was here who's anxiety prone, that we were just, like, freaking out. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, oh, I'm going to leave. I have to go. Like, this is terrible. And it was so terrifying. And we even called, like, um, at home. First of all. I was furious because I knew it was a hoax. I was like, it's so ridiculous to be afraid of, of any, anytime someone predicts something and they say like, I've had a word, yeah, the world's going to end or I've had a word from God. And it was like, Nashville's going to experience a terrorist attack that surpasses 9-11. That's like what it's, it was terrifying. And what they did is they wanted this letter to be in the Tennessean. So they took out an ad in the Tennessean 
And it happened like a month ago. Well, this person that we're talking about, friend of hers said, hey, are you guys okay? I'm worried about, I've been hearing all this stuff about Nashville. And she was like, what? So I, the girl on the right is so I think cute. that's you. <laughs> I do think it is. No, I, I really do. Wow, person. What are they seeing? What? I don't know what they're seeing. No, but look. The girl on the right is so cute. Like, how, no matter who it is, like, how's that going to make the other one feel? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I love. It's talking about you, Olivia. It's oh my not. God. I think that, like, when they look at us, it's the opposite. I Remember when we so. did this one time and we almost, like, had a DP? Yes. <laughs> so, anyway, was, I got so mad and I was like, this is a hoax. Olivia had a full-blown fight-or-flight panic attack. And I was like, I'm going to Maybe. spank you if you do not stop. <laughs> that never being comes scared. with me. When you're like, oh my god, I'm so mad because you're like scared. I'm like, thank you so much. This well, I was trying to watch Real Housewives of New Jersey, and I didn't have time and you for got you to interrupt it. Panic by our attack. It's and not funny. of course, it didn't happen because no one knows the day or the time or the hour. No, it, like Unless. if if someone really got a word from God, do you think all they would do is put an ad in the paper <laughs> and just be like, see ya? Like, yeah, they would literally true. not stop at that. No, and it was weird. It was very weird. But, it, I mean, obviously we're all good, but... We called my brother Matt. It was weird. We put him on speakerphone, and we're like, will you See, please the is, tell the girls there's nothing to worry about? Yeah, no, he knew. And he was like, are you joking? Like, are you actually yeah. scared? And I was like, yeah, maybe. Um, okay. So, here's another thing. Audrey... Ooh. Wait, what were we talking about? We were going to talk about... S Never mind. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. What were we going to talk about, Libby? Oh, your photo this. shoot! This! Oh yeah, I knew it! See? I knew Show it. Show them some of your pictures. Okay. So, we did a photo shoot for Olivia because... With, um, at Andy Baxter. You can... Wait. Yeah. Yeah. At Andy Baxter. You can go follow his um, Instagram. I'll go to the, like, good ones. And I want to show all of them, though. You I'll just show a few. No, I don't. Yeah, just show a few. what I said. Show okay. your favorite one. Like, this that... One? That's amazing. Brighten your screen. Okay. Worthy of look at that, y'all. Thank you, mom. Look at that. There's Thank Andy you. Baxter. I know, he just said, hey, everyone go give him a follow. Give and him a follow. Hannah, He's a great photographer. He will tag Hannah Show him that in the one. comments. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I look just like you. You look just like me. I'm shaking. That's yes, absolutely shaking. amazing. Can we also just show him the one you posted today? Yeah, that. No. No, it was this one. This one. No, I posted this one. But I, I I did this version. There's a new one. And I posted this incredible. on my Instagram today. So follow her at Live Official. That is amazing, Olivia. Thank you. It was it was so fun. And it, it was. was like and then, a really, really good photo shoot. Yeah, the hair and makeup artist was great too. What was her name? I need to look, honestly. I know it's Hannah. I hold on, hold on, give me five seconds. Hannah. Anyway, um so Hannah Dean makeup. Go Hannah Dean her makeup on Instagram. She was great. amazing. So Absolutely I, amazing. we started this whole closet chaos thing. Now, now Libby's looking at her phone. I'm not. You're literally not even on the nope. show anymore. I was just, I was just checking. Okay. For someone. Mom. For you. For someone to Snapchat Let's keep you. going. Okay. Uh, I released my first and only covers album on May 15th. And we have not been able to promote this album like we normally would. So I'm setting up a GoFundMe page. I'm also setting up a GoFundMe. Because... For no reason. Uh, our guest, like our guest just commented. We're set, I'm setting up an, a GoFundMe page because I have not um, made one dime in 2020 because of the shutdown. And it was That's set so to rough. be my biggest touring year in years. And now everything That's is shut so down. so terrible. So it's going to be something like you know, at Sarah Evans, GoFundMe page, I'll let you know. But I mean, if I honestly, get, like, if, you're, if your fans each donated $1, you would have... That's what I was going to say. I'm not asking dollars. for much. Just a dollar from each person. Um, and that way, and, and this is what I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to take it for myself. I'm going to give it to my band and crew. So if everybody wants to donate a dollar to Sarah Evans' band and crew, go. that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Because they have, I mean, no there one's making money. So, like, all of you diehard fans, you know my band and crew, you know Dave Jacqueline, Jim Bloodgood is my oh, drummer, yeah. Ben Thompson on guitar, um, Avery Dave. Barker oh, on guitar, um, Matt Evans on bass. Yeah, so anyway, so I, 
I was hoping to you know, make this record, release the album, tour, and promote the album all year, be playing new songs from the album on, on in the live shows. Yeah. But that hasn't happened, and I have to hold my shirt. Um, so anyway, this album is called Copy That. And I wore a blonde wig, and it's so much fun, but it's, it's all cover tunes. I want to put a blonde wig on one time and see what happens. You would look amazing. I don't know. I, 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 like, I may, it, might dye my hair platinum one day. I literally just had to discipline you on the television to turn, turn your phone How over. is that my fault? Um, you would look great in a blonde wig. I look just like you my mom. You look amazing in, in it. Like, I it was so weird at first, but after like an hour of shooting, I was like, you are a blonde. I swear. I became this person. So I was going to be Betty Draper. That's what I was going for from Mad Men. And Which is sad because honestly, to be honest, I have not really gotten into Mad Men. I tried to watch it and I just kind of stopped, which I know breaks your heart. It breaks my heart. I know. Mad Men is one of the best shows ever. It's not as good as Real Housewives of New Jersey. but <laughs> And then I also wore this wig. And I posed Which in the looks bathroom like your of this real house. Hair. It does look like my real hair. It looks it like really my real does. hair right yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, if you fluff Why did we get in all the trouble? <laughs> I was wondering. I saw it and I was like, Mom, your hair's over here. And then here's just normal me. Your hair's over here. <laughs> <laughs> so look at my legs. Look how shiny and pretty my skin looks. And the reason mm. I say that is because... We have a special product This to try. is what I want to talk to you about. And I'm hoping that she's listening. So this is Kim Kardashian's... <laughs> It's because she can give me Everyone some tag money. Kim Kardashian. Everyone tag Kim Kardashian. Okay, but like honestly, I need to flex for a second. I was on Kim Kardashian's story one time. I'm not even What? Kidding. You were too! Oh, yeah. We were on her. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Kat. It was not about you. It was about me. No, but she posted this thing that we did for Facebook Live, and it was this basically a reality show where you go on and prank your famous parent, and Audrey and I did it, which I can't no. even believe that that happened. Well, your famous parent... Um, no, I'm not bragging about my legs. I'm about to tell you something about... No, they're just saying it's stuff. funny. No, Can we finish not. what we're saying, me. please? Okay. Wait, what? Yeah, we were on that show. What's it called? Anyway, where I had to prank someone and you and Audrey... Had to were, tell her what to do. There I was had a thing in my ear. We had one of those really cool spy earpieces in. Yeah. Oh my god, that was like the coolest part of it all. It so I like, had to do everything you said. Everything that you told me to say, I had to say to these people... In this room. We did that like, and what, two years ago? Mm -hmm. So Kim so Kardashian funny. posted a trailer of it, and we are in the trailer. I can repost it. Because she produced like it. See. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they did an episode of it. I mean, yeah, that's probably one of the coolest things I've ever done, and I, like, totally forgot about it until now. So right. everyone so, tag Car Kim Kardashian. Oh, my God. I'm, our, I'm People, I'm not bragging on my legs. I'm about to tell you something. I said, look at my legs because I was wearing... KKW, Libby, how do you do that? KKW Beauty. What did I tell you, Mom? The YouTube way. How do you know everything? And it's... Cell phone. It's, um... Body you know, makeup. It's body makeup. And I am going to try it. You're going to try it right now. But it literally... Oh I saw Kim Kardashian do it because she has um, a skin condition. What uh, is that? Here's the thing. My God, I want to do it myself. I know. I was handing it to you. Thank what you. is her skin condition? So here we go, everyone. Anyway, and so that's why she did this, so she can cover up the problems with her skin. And so that's what we had on my legs this in the photo amazing. shoot. Amazing! And you're not even supposed to really use it on like your arms and stuff. You're mainly supposed to use it on your legs. Yeah, it's mostly but for your still, legs. Still, it looks like I got tan and do it on my skin. arm. That looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this product. We really need to show it on mine because your skin's amazing anyway. Well, thanks, Mama. Okay, see that? No, do it. Here we go, everyone. Wow, this is an amazing product. I think everyone should buy it, honestly. Do Chase you have Chrisley. to take the time to put the lid on? Hi. Chase Chrisley, we, love I, we are mad at you. All Why? right. Why are we mad at him? Because he's supposed to be coming on our show, and he won't. He won't respond. He won't I, I slid into his DM. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Maybe I should slide into your DMs, Chase, and then we'll, we can make it happen. Yeah. Well, he said, um, he oh, used... That's amazing! That look, see? Oh my gosh. It's Kim Kardashian. I want to put some... Look, I got tan and like... Oh my god. I've got it on my legs because I had to go to you're, the studio. You're not even going to it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, that's amazing. Really good product. It's a really good product. It is. I want to put it on my chest though. 
Do it. I feel like that would be great makeup to cover he up. He said freckles. next week, let's do it. I had surgery. <gasps> oh goodness. Oh, you had surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, she's such a. Why didn't you do closet chaos from your hospital bed, Chase Chris Lee? That would be amazing. Okay, next week, plan on it, everybody. Our guest next week is Chase Chris Lee. I'm so excited. Um, speaking of the Chris Lees. Oh gosh, I don't even know. Do y'all remember that I recorded a song with Todd Chris Lee? Oh my god, I think we have to play it. Hold on. It was a song that, um, I'm not trying to fidget, but I have a terrible tag in my shirt. I'm doing so much better with my hair, though. You know, Paul, really weird about Paul at CVS, what does that mean slid into his DM? His direct message on Instagram. It's like you, you know, you try and get in touch with someone through that. It's yeah, when you instant message, I mean direct message someone. It's like you're going, you know, but it's kind of, through the yeah. side door. Okay. Um, Shit, can I play it? So this is a song that Todd Chrisley, watch me, watch me, wrote for his wife, Julie. He did. And, he, and Todd, watch me, sang it with me. You're terrible. I know, I'm just kidding. We really did this together. Yeah. I was literally, I watched her. You walked in the room. But that's him. I mean, I yeah, was it shocked when it came out. I, I mean, never have this he's on his phone. I actually remember shocked. this. This is so cute. I dear. can't forget that yellow dress. My heart was oh beating out of my chest. I know it's every word. That's all I knew. It's called Infinite Love, and um, Todd Chrisley and I became friends. He needs to come on the show, too. I mean, I'm, so, I'm shocked he hasn't. The first time Todd Chrisley ever called me, do you know that we talked for almost two hours on the phone? And that was um, a day that Andrew, my stepson, like was being loud or did something in the playroom and got in trouble. So while I was on the phone with Todd Chrisley, I went up and I was like, Hold on a second. And then I screamed at Andrew and got back off the phone. And <laughs> you're like, hey. And we <laughs> we became instant friends. And I love the Chrisleys. I love Julie. They're the best. Um, they're they're really the best. best. And they're Chase so Chase is coming on the show. But we also, my siblings and I were on Family Feud against the Chrisleys. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. Talk about stress. Family Feud is really, really hard. It's harder than oh you think. Oh, my gosh. It, I could never. I mean, I was a little offended that I wasn't on it, but it's fine. Oh, Family Feud and shooting our sizzle reel for the reality show, both of those things you ruined for me. Because I did remember, not ruin Family Feud. And Shane, oh, our special guest was in the audience with you. And you I guys, did not. You guys were like, be funny, be funny, be more funny. Remember? And then I, I tried to say something funny or whatever, and I looked out there and I saw you and Audrey and our special guest that's about to you. You guys were all like, oh, like, because you, remember you kept telling me to be more funny. I would never do that. You did. It was not me. That I, was a bad I age. Did not that, do I that. did not like you at that age. What I was age probably was that? in eighth grade, so like that makes sense. Eighth grade's a bad year for everyone. How old are you now? Okay, yeah, it was probably you were probably I'm a fourteen. So yeah. you're a senior. I can't believe it. No, but for real, never no, that you. is um, not true. That's I didn't news. like you at that age. Fake news. No, I did not like you at that age. I mean, I adore you from the time you were born. <laughs> I didn't like you. And I like, I, you know, and I've adored you every second since you've been born, except. I think maybe when you were 14. Maybe during the sizzle reel. You were in the that sizzle reel. That wasn't my fault either. So, yeah, my brother Jay got 190 in, at the end, you know. Now his anyway. contact is 190. So our special guest, 
What story, Craig Dunn? Tell me about Family Feud. Like, what happened? She went and played Family Feud with the Chrisleys, and guess who won? Craig Dunn, you try to do an Instagram live and just talk for an hour and think of things to say. It's hard to not read the think. comments at the same time. And not feel insecure that you said, look at my legs, and then everyone makes fun of you. No one's making... They wouldn't be on here commenting if they... <laughs> he said side draggers. I know, you know? That's what makes this funny. It's a condition. Oh my god. That's what makes this funny, is that we sidetrack. It is closet chaos. We've There's decided? no ending to ever store every ever what? There's Being never an sight. ending. So what I was gonna I'm say is that we don't map out what we're gonna talk about anymore. The past like few we literally just come up here and we're like, alright. We're just sitting here talking to y'all because we love you and we, and we miss you desperately. Yeah, there was a time when we would like print everything out. Okay, so there, okay, I'm going to finish this story, okay? I don't know what the, what For the story For all is. of you naysayers out there. The point of the story is, our special guest is a songwriter. Olivia did that thing. Ah. Our special guest is, a, is an award-winning, famous songwriter who I have written many songs with. He wrote that song with Todd Chrisley, Infinite Love. Um... He is like family to us. Oh my gosh. He's read, read his accolades. So much. All right, I'll do it then. You kind of lost your mind. I think you're thinking about someone. Yeah, I'm kind of weird today. No, no, I've just been okay, like, go. my brain, I go. can't type today. read it. Okay. Um, his, he's worked with Sarah Evans, Carrie Underwood, Lady Annabellum, Kelly Pickler, Jordan Sparks. Lady A. Lady A. I'm sorry. Lady A. Um, Kelly Pickler. Pinter, Kelly Pickler. See, I can't read or type today. It's weird. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Um, and he also has written a song for Selena Gomez that I am obsessed with. It's a beautiful it's a song, song called Nobody from her album Revival that I was listening to two days ago on repeat. I don't know why. I was literally just like, because it's an amazing song, that's why. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh yeah, he sings on a lot of your albums. He, my album Most Words. Most of them. He sings on almost every song. Yep. And there's a song on, on the album Words called, um... Wait, hold on. <laughs> we both have lost our minds today. It's been a crazy week. I mean, yeah. Called, um... You two sound like my brain before I hit the pillow. No, what is... What is the song that we do? Oh, I wish I knew. I Want You. Yes. It's called <laughs> I Want You. And Shane sings it with me. Oh, it's a duet. That it's song? amazing. We co-wrote If I Run. We co-wrote Sweet Spot together. Um... Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's get him let's on right now. Let's just go ahead now. and get on. I'm ready for this. Since we're getting so much criticism for not finishing our stories. <laughs> okay, you must Where request. Is he? I just don't know. There he is. Let's Look, we didn't even fight that time. I know. That, that was amazing. Did you look at my elbow? No. Yeah, I did that time. We're waiting for you, Shane. We're waiting for Shane Stevens. Oh my gosh, I wish we had the vlog up. <laughs> Hi! 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 How are you, my love? I'm amazing. You two are a hot damn mess. Oh my gosh. Vlog of chaos. <laughs> Tell us about it. I mean, it's only going to get crazier now that you're on. Oh, oh yes, yeah. ma'am. Except like for I can't up. dance and hold the iPad at the same time. You have to, no, no, you have to dance. That's a, that's a formal request. You can't yeah, I think some, You're going to have to prop that thing. <laughs> on and dance for us. What are y'all doing? Hanging out oh in the my closet. Gosh, we're, we're losing our minds. What are you doing? Um, I've basically become Shane of all trades slash Bob Vila. And okay. I have torn our entire house apart. Uh -huh. And started putting it back together. And today I built stairs. What? Built stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. That I didn't know you were handy. Right. Are you handy? Oh, I got, I got real handy. I'm not just handy with scissors and a blow dryer and, and writing songs. I can build some shit. Yeah, so That's Shane. amazing. Let's go way back to when we first met. Okay? Oh my God! Tell everybody where you met me. I met you at Trump's hair salon, and I was the the hairdresser's assistant, Earl Cox's oh, assistant, yeah. and John's assistant. And it was the first time you ever got hair extensions mm -hmm. for the Born to Fly video, which okay. was, and they were so long and so heavy. And that was back in the day when we used to sew them in. Yes. Yeah, and um. Oh my God, it was like way down past your waist. So if anybody remembers that Born to Fly video, she had all that hair 
way <laughs> passed away. That video was amazing. Yeah, oh yeah no one remembers that. It was so long ago. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, but the funniest part about it was um, when you came back, because you couldn't handle having them in, your sister had cut them out? My sister-in-law, my ex-sister-in-law, um, yeah. I was like, cut these out. So KK was on the phone with her saying, this is how you do it. Cut them out by, you know, cut right here and here and here. So she did cut the wrong. Brakes. She cut the extensions out and then it And your went, hair. Brr. Yeah, it's like those funny TikToks where people That's cut their bangs. That's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Why would cut you, all my why, hair out? Why? And cut her. So she had a bald spot around her head when she came back in because that she had cut the braid out. You couldn't wait. That we like, sewed the hair into. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Only an that, iPad is awkward. I'm not surprised, though. I'm not surprised either because I do stuff like that all the time. All the time. So I ha I recently had in the the bead ones, and they uh -huh. I almost had a complete panic attack because I wanted them out. And I, I always just think of that story. <laughs> like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's so she it. then... Years went by, mm -hmm. um, and we ended up writing together before Slow Me Down, correct? Yeah, yes. But um, what actually happened is I never told anybody I was a songwriter when I worked at Trump, so I was just writing songs. And then I got a publishing deal at Famous Music in Nashville, and then I got a record deal in 2001, and I moved to New York City. And then 9-11 happened, and I lost my record deal at Columbia. And... Um, then I went back to like doing hair and just trying to write when I could or whatever. And I stayed in New York city. And then um, I ended up getting another publishing deal in 2006. And I wrote a song with Chris Stapleton's wife, Morgan called low. And then oh, yeah. we pitched it. We pitched it for uh, to Anastasia Brown for the Billy Graham movie. And then she, I guess she pitched it to you and then you recorded it and then did the video. And then I showed up at the studio when you were doing your vocal or something, you're like, what are you doing here? I'm, this is all, are you doing my hair? I'm like, no, I wrote this song. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. And then, um, then a few years, then I guess it was just a few years later after that, because uh, Lady Antebellum, American Honey happened. Oh my right. God. He, yes. He wrote American Honey. We were listening to that two nights ago. Uh -huh. And Aww. I was like, oh my God, I haven't heard this song in years. It's like Yay. amazing. Oh my God, I can't believe you wrote that. I'm not surprised Yay. And then I started making the drive down to Birmingham and writing songs with you, which was amazing because we go way back. Way back. Oh, and my God. I have memories coming, like, home from school, and I just, like, walk out to the pool house, and y'all are all, like, sitting out there. Yeah. Like, it was just so normal. But, like, in the and it was the best payoff ever. We get there, and there's a spread of food and all kinds of stuff to eat and well, drink. I, and I was always so appreciative that you guys would come down to Birmingham and ride with me because – you know, I was in the throes of raising them and I right. didn't want to be gone any more than I had to, you know? Yeah, and so totally. I just thought if people would be nice enough to come to Birmingham and write with me, then yeah, I would always do like quiche and mm -hmm. cheese and crackers. Well, it was so nice. To make those boards, like, that house was time. so homey and beautiful. Uh, and I loved your writing room. Oh, oh well, it, it was, was so amazing. fun. It was actually our pool house. Filled with sunshine. In, into a writing room and it was just always so relaxing to sit out there and ride but then you take a little break and go out to the pool and oh. can you believe how much olivia has grown up i can't handle it she's so beautiful and she sings her face off thank you so you're so yeah sweet. we need to get the two of you together because we we will we need some of yes. your songs I, yes, yeah I i'll meet you in a mask somewhere what I'll, I'll meet you in a mask somewhere <laughs> uh, of, course. of course yeah so i'm gonna sing a little bit of low so remember the video for low no. Oh my god, you remember the song? Um, it goes, I'm gonna roll that stone away. Sim. Live Wait, my I life my song. way. Stand up on my faith. Just like the sun rises this every, every day. day. The tide is gonna change. change. You, you can't can keep me. me. I know this song. Yeah. Do you, uh, I, I don't know. That's do you know that RCA video. has not remembered to keep that song on iTunes or on Spotify, you can't get it anywhere. Really? What? It's only on, um, the video is on iTunes. It's nowhere else. Isn't that crazy? That's so weird. So the video is on iTunes, not yeah. YouTube. Uh, and it's on YouTube. But you YouTube can't video. you can't buy the song anymore or stream it. 
That's crazy. Well, everybody so needs weird. to go watch the video because, it, as it's you said, it's a beautiful video. The, yeah, it's for the Billy Graham movie, mm -hmm. and it's an incredible song. And tell me again, you wrote it? Did you write it with Karen Rochelle? No, I wrote it with Morgan Stapleton, Chris Stapleton's oh, yeah, wife. Okay. So we were writing one day, the day that we wrote Sweet Spot. Yeah. So Sweet Spot, you want to sing with me? I said, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm in love with you, baby, baby, look how you and me, we felt so hard to leave. In sweet spot. You just sang that so high. <laughs> yeah, why did I do that so high? I don't know. I was like, oh my god. You killed it. <laughs> All right. That, that was way too high. And did you do the whistle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Craig Dunn whistled first. And they yeah. replaced Craig Dunn. Craig Dunn got fired for the whistle. Since Craig, since Craig Dunn just told me to finish the story, I'll make fun of Craig Dunn. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm vengeful. I'm vengeful. Uh, yeah, so he went in and whistled it, but it it just wasn't exactly right. It's not that his whistling was bad, <laughs> but your whistling was because you wrote the song, and so yeah. you whistled while we were writing it. Right, whistle and I also like to pretend word. like I'm Mariah Carey, and I could never do that when I was a kid, so I'd just whistle it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, will you please do the Mariah Carey thing for us? Hold on. <laughs> oh, that was flat. That's amazing. Coffee. That's amazing. Can you hear it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me just rip that out real quick. There we go. <laughs> That's incredible. Maybe after hours of singing, I could do it, but no. So we also wrote a song together called If I Run. I love that song. Oh, my God. If I run. Baby, would you chase me? Be the one who wants to save me. me. Never walk, walk away in the middle of it. If I was lost, find me, would you remind me that who I am will never be, always be enough? I did not know all the words. Oh, my God. If I don't perform them all the time, then I forget the lyrics. I know all your albums better than you do. You really do. My favorite song of ours that we wrote, though, never made the Slow Me Down album because it's so country, was Jessica. We wrote this awesome uh, song called uh, Jessica. We just put the demo out because it's hilarious. I really should do that. And yeah, you know, there's why not? a reason why I didn't record it. Remember? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but it goes, oh, oh, Jessica. But it's this awesome, it's kind of like Suds in the Bucket. I was literally about to say, it's very Suds in the Bucket-y reminiscent. Yeah, I've never even heard We could it. change the name. We could. Yes. So a three-syllable name. But what rhymes with Jessica? Well, we, we didn't necessarily rhyme it, though. Oh, Jessica. I mean, she how was a looker. He went and took her to her favorite place. Man, I sure love the milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's hilarious. It? I can see her up there mocking me. Saying it all without saying a thing. I got the one you wish you had. Don't it make you fighting mad? Mr. Perfect is going out with me. He thinks you're cute, but I'm a beauty queen. Can't you just see us holding hands? Best looking couple at the dance. Well, you wanted him. Well, it's too bad. I got the one, the one, the one you wish you had. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Oh, is that it? Uh, yeah. Oh, you missed a word. Actually. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> How in the world did you remember that's that? Oh my gosh, I don't really forget words to some, my songs. I'm not. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That. I mean, that's amazing. That is amazing. And I've never the, heard it ever. The day it's so we good. Sweet. You've never heard Jessica? It's great. You'll oh, love it. So the day funny. that we wrote Sweet Spot, we wrote Sweet Spot with Karen Rochelle. Yep. And you, um, thank God, you were like, you need to hear this song that Karen wrote. Oh called Better Off. Yes. Oh, Remember that? Yeah. And that's one of my favorite songs that I've ever recorded, even though neither of us wrote it. I know. Um, but it's totally like my wheelhouse. It's that country. Oh, it, my God. It sounds, I love that song. That's the one so Vince Gill sang on. Yeah, Vince Gill sang on it. And it mm -hmm. sounds so much like A Thousand Times a Day by Patti Loveless. Oh, yeah. 
um, which I'm going to put in my show. Really? He goes, forgetting you is not that hard to do. Done it. A thousand times a day. <laughs> Country music. <laughs> I know. And oh, yeah. Shane, we tweeted, where is Patty Loveless that day? Remember? Oh, yeah. Because we listening to Better Off. Yeah. And I said, that reminds me of Patty Loveless. Where is Patty Loveless? So anyway, we have so much. We, we could tell a million stories. A together. million stories. A million. Everyone needs to go on your YouTube, though, if they really want to see y'all's best, one of your best moments. Oh, and my webisodes. Ever. Oh, the webisodes? Oh, if in the hotel room? I don't remember, no, but just a dancing one. I think it was in the pool. Oh, the dancing one. No, no, no. Yeah, you were dancing. In your writer's room. Yeah. I was crying. Like, I I was crying. (laughs) I could not stop laughing. Oh, yeah. Wait, I was going to say something else about you. Oh, so then on my last album, Words, um, I recorded one of the most beautiful songs that I think you've ever written. Oh, thanks. you would... You froze. Someone Uh-oh. called me, sorry. Oh, what'd you say? Okay. Talk more back. about me, I'm sorry. Okay. Someone called me. It's off now, but it's okay. Okay, so um, it's called I Want You. And it mm-hmm. is so deeply sad. It's, it is the best song ever, ever. It's the best song ever. And you and I, I sing it. it together as a duet. So if you guys mm-hmm. want to hear this song, it's on my album words. It's called I Want You. But then also you sang harmony on the whole entire record. Yeah. <laughs> you worked your oh, yeah. butt off for me that day. <laughs> I loved it. It was so much fun. That is literally one of my favorite records, country records of all time. Thank you. Every single song is so great. That I was, was very special. And I was supposed to meet you in the studio that day and I got the flu. And so you mm-hmm. and my sister just went ahead and did all the harmony parts. And yep. you guys worked so hard. It's amazing. So what have you got going on in your career? What what are I mean, I know <gasps> I don't know if I can talk about it. Yeah, you so, we can talk my movie's been announced. Oh good. Yeah, that's yeah, right. it's been announced. Tell everybody. Honey, about it was in it. variety in the Hollywood Reporter. Um, Tell everybody wrote, what my part's gonna be. Um, you're gonna be whatever you want to be. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> I heard um, it's a country music musical. It's not about country music. It's just about a girl who um, is finding herself. I really can't say all that stuff, but yeah. um, it's country songs. No one's trying to be a star, but it's it's just a love story, and um, it's yeah. burst into song like a Broadway show would be. Um, but really amazing country songs. And I, I, and, uh, I did the test on you in LA and played them and we sat out on the patio at Sunset Marquee and you cried. So that, that was the stamp of approval. Oh my God. <laughs> I sobbed and all you did was play me the guitar vocal. Like yep. there was no real production on it, but it's right. the one song, like the major yep. song. Mm-hmm. And I bald i literally oh my God. um we had the best night that night we Ugh. had a lot of wine and you told me your whole life story <laughs> um i think you made me cry like five times that night but i miss you so much I miss you too and now you live really close i think oh yeah we're in green hills we're, we're, in right there. we're at the end of belmont okay when are we coming over i guess when corona is yeah. over <laughs> or we can socially distance in the house yeah, we can just like sit outside in the patio. Sit outside, yeah. Yeah, totally. we have a huge backyard too. Yeah. So, um, so is the movie on hold because of everything? Yeah, they're doing a script rewrite at the moment. Um, they just had a few more things to do, and then Karen and I get to dive back in. Um, we're basically done with all the songs. We might have four more to do. Um, they're just changing a few little things. But um, as soon as they figure out how we can film and it be proper it be socially distanced i guess um they're figuring things out like tyler perry's been shooting in atlanta and he's got like houses on his lot for the actors so everyone stays quarantined and then they all fly on the same plane with no one else and then they right they get tested before they get tested during and they can't go anywhere so maybe that's how they'll do that do it for us um i'm hopeful i mean we were supposed to start this fall but i doubt it'll be this fall but it's still happening yeah. So I'm ready whenever you want me for the for the lead role or whatever role. I'm not saying you have to give me the lead, but <laughs> I mean, you should. 
I mean, I would love like, that. You know, I'd love that so much. Oh Libby has God. to be in it. And I, I just want a part in the song. I'm not going to name the name, but it, the song has the word Jesus in it. Mm-hmm. You know what song I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and did you know that I got a tattoo? No, you did not. I, yes, I got did. my first tattoo. It says really Jesus. Show it like this. Oh, wow. I got one too. She got one too. Can you show it a little bit? Not really. I mean, it's like it's on her rib page. It's an (laughs) olive branch. Well, mine's Corinthians, so that's the only one I have. I love it. I love that. First Corinthians thirteen thirteen, my favorite Bible verse. Did you sing on Marky sign? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because Leslie kept making fun of you, so that's the only way you could do that. What'd you say? I was like, did you sing on it too? Or was that your sister? That was Leslie. I am yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. It was you. That's yeah. the one you ad libbed on, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but every time that I sing with Aunt Leslie now and we're doing background vocals, we, I like have Little to do it. Little back and lucky, son. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> emailed it to me. I could probably find it in an email. Oh my god, it's hilarious. What else, what else so have y'all much. been doing other than Closet Chaos? Um, we've been doing quite a few um, you know, like viral shows mm-hmm. where, like we just did one a couple nights ago. It was like a Zoom show for this winery and so people were able to like, I guess, pay to watch it or whatever. And so I have this quarantine band and it's uh-huh. Avery and Olivia and Avery's girlfriend, Emma Salute. She's in that in this band called Temecula Road with her sister oh, yeah. and a friend. Did you know yeah. Avery's in love? No. I know. We haven't talked in so long. We've got to get together. Avery is in love with Emma. So look on their Instagrams and you will see. It's Emma Salute or Avery S. Barker. Uh-huh. And they are adorable. They're soulmates. Oh. Um, it's She's amazing. a fabulous singer. Like they're so cute, and That's we awesome. love her. She's, I know we're. I mean, I'm so grateful to God. It's weird. Like, that's one of those things that I never expected to be so happy about when your child yeah. finds true love, and especially um, now in a time like this. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we they need a lot more love. I haven't been on Instagram in like I stopped Instagram like three weeks ago because I just can't watch people screaming each other anymore. Yeah, you're oh right. My God, I know. I just I need, I needed a break, a social media break. It's just like, I want, if you want more love, if you want love, you got to give more love. If you yeah. want hate, you're going to get more hate. You know, it's like, I just got to focus on love and joy and expansion in life. Exactly. You know, I agree with you, Shane. It's been yeah. very depressing um, mm-hmm. to see all the fighting and everything that's going on. Like, yeah. I just am ready for, I'm ready for life to just go back to normal. And like you said, everybody love each other. I mean, mm-hmm. what are we, if we don't have love, we all have different lives, different backgrounds, different yeah. opinions, different if struggles. We can't talk about things with love, mm-hmm. then we're animals. Like we I need know. to be able to love each other. Like try something different. Just love each other. Focus yeah. on joy. Focus on yeah. on expansion. Focus on what God's doing, not what God's not doing. Yes. You know? So that's you're, what we're trying to right. do. We're just watching happy things. I deleted the news app. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm just yeah. kind of yeah, unplugged. I've just been painting and writing tons of songs and recording at the house and just tearing everything apart. Poor Eric's like, what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Building stuff. Okay, so I have to hurry because um, Instagram cuts us off at one hour. Okay. Um, so I love you so much. Thank you. I, love I cannot you thank so you enough. Much. Mm-hmm. I'm praying for y'all. Tell Eric we said hi. And I love will. You so much. We'll see you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> group hug. Every time. <laughs> he's the best. Okay. He is. Play, he's so play, 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 play the song. Which one? I want you. Oh my gosh. You okay. made me cry. We're going to play this song that Shane wrote. And, um. Oh my God. It's, and, that, and it, we, it is the most beautiful song. Turn up really loud. It's turn off the fan. I'm going to hold it. It's as loud as it can go. It's so beautiful, though. Okay, here it is. People say I'm probably crazy, so I'm probably crazy. Should we fast forward a little bit? Oh, yeah, fast forward to Wednesday. So I'm probably crazy, cause I want you. I want you. 
me insane, everybody. Love you. Bye, everybody. God bless. Bye, everyone. Remember, love. Love each other. Yep.